Hey everybody, Dan Bailey here. I'm out here enjoying the evening light on the icebergs at Lake George. Um, just wanted to give you a quick tip. Uh, this lesson is called How I Hold My Camera. And I realize that might be a rudimentary topic for a lot of you. You know, you've probably been shooting for many years. But I've actually had a, a, quite a number of people email me and tell me that they're having a hard time making the transition from DSLRs to mirrorless cameras, which are a lot lighter and smaller. And so they're having a hard time getting, getting a good purchase on the camera without having some cramping issues and just figuring out how to, how to navigate the controls and, and hold it in an effective way. So the first part of this is that I always cradle my left hand underneath the lens. And that's kind of a universal grip, for, for at least for me. Uh, and that's how I learn as a photographer. And that's what I advocate that everyone should do when they're holding their camera. You don't want to do this. It doesn't uh, offer you the same level of stability and, and makes you look like an amateur. Uh, this gives you a nice stable platform. You can also suck your elbow into your body and it gives you an even more stable grip for the hold the camera steady. Uh, and it also allows you to operate the aperture ring if you have one and also you know, turn the focus dial if you do manual focus. But at the very least, you have that stable platform. Now you bring in the right hand. I just, you know, right hand naturally on the, the molded grip on the camera and that allows me to, to use the shutter button, manipulate the dials and the other controls on the body. Uh, but I'm not gripping it very tightly and that's because I have this left hand under here helping me. And so I just have this little dance between the right and left hand. You know, so I'm shooting and I'm looking out here and I'm putting the camera to my eye and I'm looking at the screen here. And I'm always just having this little dance between the two grips and I'm never gripping very tightly. As you can see, it's a pretty lightweight grip. Uh, and that's pretty liberating. Uh, there's no need to grip it really tightly. Uh, you know, especially the mirrorless cameras, they're pretty light and small and, and there's no need to to hold it so tightly you're going to cramp up your hand or just you know make it uncomfortable it should be an easy lightweight grip for you so left hand right hand uh, and that brings us to the next part the strap i actually consider the strap to be a vital component in this whole equation and so the number one thing for me is i always use the strap there's never a time where the strap is not fixed to my camera and it's usually around my neck so i know there's a lot of landscape photographers out there who don't use straps and in fact who never use them uh, because they they don't want the strap kind of flapping around on the tripod. And that's fine, but I, I really would advocate using a strap. And I think that you're kind of doing a disservice by not using a strap for a couple reasons. First of all, the strap offers an incredible amount of security. The, the fundamental reason that I'm able to have and enjoy this lightweight grip, you know, this, this little dance between the two hands, is because I have the strap. And I always know that if I just let go, it's just going to fall right there. It's, it's never going to go very far. You know, this... I can let go quickly and it's 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 always gonna be right there the strap also offers added stability so a lot of times with the camera when I'm shooting with a viewfinder I'll actually hold the strap tight against my neck and that gives me more stability if I don't have a tripod uh, sometimes I'll even whoop. sometimes I'll, I'll have the strap off my neck when I'm shooting I'll hold it tightly with the left hand and then I'll hold the camera with the right hand. I'll have a, a little bit more secure grip. And that allows me to shoot at higher angles. You know, especially if I flip the screen down, I can you know, get down low and, and hold the camera up here. Sometimes I'm shooting down below. So again, that's, you, you get some real added stability. You'd be surprised how stable you can get and how low a shutter speed you can achieve and still get sharp photos by holding the strap tightly against your neck. Uh, I've shot with long lenses like the 50 to 140 uh, here comes my buddy in his plane. <laughs> so you'd be surprised how low a shutter speed you can go and how much stability this actually offers you. Uh, I've used the 50 to 140, you know, shoot with a telephoto, getting down a tenth of a second and handheld and gotten sharp photos, you know, especially if the lens has stabilization on it. So the strap offers security and stability. The third thing the strap offers is freedom, freedom and flexibility. You know, if I always have the camera strap here, I can walk around the world. Hey, look at that. I see that. Hey, you know, I'm just walking around and enjoying my scenes. And hey, well, I can check that out. And, you know, I'm just, I always have it with me. And it's just kind of an extension of my body. I can just sling it around here if I want to get it out of the way. And so that allows me the freedom to, like I said, explore the world with my photography and not be kind of pigeonholed into shooting one style. You know, as I said, I've seen photographers put the bag down, take the camera out, put it on the tripod. But from that moment, they have to like hold it very preciously and very carefully until they get it onto the tripod 
And it's just kind of a little bit of a worrisome thing to go back and forth between these two points with no extra security. And while tripods can be a very essential tool in that style of photography, I think if you're only shooting on the tripod, you're really limiting the types of photography that you can do and the kind of creativity that you can explore with your camera. So enjoy the flexibility and the freedom that the strap offers. So I can't force you to use the strap. I can't make you. I'm not going to come to your house and you know physically put it around your neck and say, you have to use the strap. But I strongly advocate that you use a strap or at least you know get a quick release strap so that you can enjoy the liberation and the freedom of creativity that the, having the strap offers. I know that some photographers like the sling style strap uh, that, like, like Black Rapids makes and Peak Designs. Really, it's just preference. Whatever style you like the best is the right one for you. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. So I hope you in, uh... Ooh, Glacier just calved on the other side. Did you hear that? So we're gonna end there. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this lesson. I hope you at least got a couple good tips out of it. If you'd like to explore some more cerebral aspects of image making and creativity, you can check out my new Photography on the Brain video lesson series. Uh, you can also check out my blog. I've got a lot of information on there, a lot of articles and ebooks and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go off and see what kind of photos I can make this evening. Uh, best of luck with your photography this week, and I'll see you next time.